Bene, inserita la panna, continuare la cottura per circa 15 minuti. Perché comunque fino a quando non si sa che è perfettamente il passo di un'altra cosa. Non si sa che è perfettamente il passo di un'altra cosa. Action! Challenge accepted! Can you believe that traditional bolognese sauce had cream and milk in it? Today we compare it with the recipe I always use. Let's start with ingredients. For both the recipes we will mince 100 grams of carrots, 100 grams of celery and 60 grams of onions. Here the traditional recipe requires 600 grams of ground beef and 300 grams of cured bacon. For my recipe instead 300 grams of ground beef, 300 grams of ground pork meat, 100 grams of cured bacon and 2 sausages. For both, half a liter of broth and 300 grams of tomato puree. Then, the traditional recipe wants also half a liter of milk and a glass of white wine. But for my bolognese, I prefer red wine. Roast the bacon, starting with a cold temperature, so that it slowly releases all the fat. This phase takes around 3 to 4 minutes. Do not add any extra fat or salt. Bacon is doing the job for you. Add the vegetables and slowly cook them for 7 or 8 minutes. As I told you earlier, in the traditional recipe we are going to add only beef meat, while my recipe we will also put some pork meat. Stir vigorously to prevent the meat from forming clusters. In this phase we want the meat to release all the juices and make them evaporate. We are going to achieve a super concentrate of flavor. White wine versus red wine. Which one is better? You tell me. Make sure to add it when temperature is high enough to hear this wonderful music. Pour tomato in our bolognese. Puree or sauce, it's up to your taste. In some versions of these recipes, you can also add tomato concentrate. Three spoons of it would be enough. Pour the milk in a pot and simmer until you see a membrane forming on the surface. That's what we need for the traditional bolognese recipe. Gently put it on a side as we are going to use it very soon. In this phase, make sure to use freshly made broth. Industrial dices or powders are extremely forbidden. If you're lazy, just add water. Ah, this is my twist. I love to add some serious flavor to the recipe. Try it and you'll never regret it. Add milk and cream to the traditional recipe. Adjust with salt and pepper and we're ready to go. And that's how to make bolognese sauce, Italian style. Which one is the best? You decide. If you love this video, make sure to like and subscribe. See you next week.